today's video is going to be all about the most talked about makeup lip well the most talked about lipstick that's came out in a while and it is by MAC and it's um can you guys guess what it is? Duh! It's Max Riri Woo. And if you don't know anything about Riri Woo, which is like the hardest word, it's like the hardest name to say. But if you don't know anything about this new red lipstick from MAC, it was inspired by none other than the sexy and gorgeous Rihanna. And it's the first, I think, makeup that's coming out in her collection that she collaborated with MAC. She's got like a whole line coming out. But this is like the first item to come out. A gorgeous retro matte lipstick. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's very, very similar to Max Ruby Woo, um, which I do not own Ruby Woo. So that's why I was really excited to buy this lipstick because I've always wanted Ruby Woo, but my first purchase of a red from MAC was Russian Red. And that's what the um, girl that worked at the counter, that's what she suggested more to me was Russian Red, which I do love Russian Red, and I've been very dedicated to Russian Red, so that's why I didn't really purchase Ruby Woo. I'm a Rihanna fan, so when I heard that she came out with her own lipstick from MAC, I knew it had to be gorgeous because Rihanna is one of those celebrities that just has her signature look to her, you know, very much like Nicki Minaj has the pink and um, Gaga with the light pink. And Rihanna's always with that either retro matte red lipstick or she's got like that really dark maroon lipstick. So like I just, I couldn't say no. So of course I, you know, fell into the hype. I um, was on their website at 12 o'clock. I was not playing around. I was like having serious like hashtag matte girl problems. So lucky for me, I was one of the lucky few that was able to purchase the lipstick because I guess within three hours that it was released, it was already sold out. But do not be sad and do not um, get down because they are going to have another release of the lipstick in June. That's just a couple weeks away, girls. So, um, quickly about the lipstick, I love it, and that's just my personal opinion. Um, if you own Ruby Woo, I've seen other people saying that don't buy into the hype and don't buy Rihanna's lipstick because they're very similar. Um, but I don't, and that's why I bought it. I love matte red lipstick. I, I've always been a girl who's loved the era of the 1940s, 1950s, you know, the Sophia Lorraine, Raquel Welch, Marilyn Monroe era. So anything with the matte red I just love I just feel like it just looks beautiful on all women of all skin of all skin colors and also it makes your teeth look so white and I don't have um white teeth at all but they really do make your smile just look so <laughs> nice like you look like you've got some white teeth and it just looks so nice I've already worn it about two times now so this is right now my third time and it's very long lasting to me it wasn't drying at all and again um I say the truth about that because I have big lips and I do get, I do have an issue of dry lips and for me it wasn't drying at all in my lips. It didn't get into like the, you know, the creases on my lips, it didn't crack at all. It just looks beautiful and I had it on for a whole day's, I had it on for a full day of work, that's eight hours, and it just stayed on. It looked so pretty. It doesn't really transfer either. Like it, it it's not... It's not like, like it's it's really not that bad. Like there is a little bit of transfer there, obviously, but you know you don't see like my whole lip, um, lip shape on my arm, which is a good thing too because you know, you know sometimes when it transfer like it's in your teeth and it's like you know your cup or whatever you drink it's like all over the place. Your boyfriend he's like mad at you because now you got red lipstick on. It's Rihanna's signature in it as well. Which is really cute so it has in cursive Riri so that was really cute um the packaging is no different than any other you know MAC lipstick is still like the standard packaging it's $15 limited edition so again if you get a chance to get your hands on it do not fall for those scammy eBay people selling them for like 48 crazy amount of money do not do that because no lipstick no lipstick in this world is worth about $50 really it's really not it will come out again in June girl so don't 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 buy this lipstick for like 50 something dollars do I think it's worth you guys buying it yes 
that's just again my personal opinion I really think it's worth it I think it's worth the hype again I am a Rihanna fan so if you're a Rihanna fan you know you'll, you'll probably want to own this lipstick as well it's great to add into your collection it's gorgeous it's gonna look gorgeous on you I mean I'm telling you it's gonna look gorgeous on you. Um, and also I do have pictures on my blog and swatches as well for you guys to get a better chance at looking at the lipstick and what it looks on this is Ri Ri Ru. Gorgeous. I'm not lying to you. It's gorgeous. If you get a chance to buy this lipstick, I'm telling you, log on at like 12 o'clock. Which I hope they do it at 12 because I cannot stand when they released that Nicki Minaj lipstick. And it was like in the middle of the night. And I was just like, are you serious? Like, why are you releasing it in the middle of the night? Especially for us that live on the East Coast. If you release it at 12 o'clock, you know, Pacific time... That for me is 3 o'clock in the morning, okay? That's not cool. So when they released this at 12 in the afternoon, I was so happy because I'm like, good, it gave people on the e on the West Coast, 9 a.m., on the East Coast, 12, like, we're all happy. No one's, like, staying up late or waking up super early. So that was good. So <laughs> I'm going off on a tangent because I'm so excited about this lipstick. Let me know what you think. If you purchased it as well, if you're one of those girls that, you know, was able to get it, good for you. Um... And yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Check out my blog, alanamariestyle.blogspot.com for more pictures and swatches. And until next time, I love you guys so much. Talk to you later. Mwah.